Hi guys, good to see you again. Uh, today's video, we're going to take a quick look around outside um, our dining area and our outside play area and where we kind of spend a lot of our time. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour. You may even get to see Killian having his lunch with his daddy. So here we are, we're going to turn around and we're going to head out the front door. Here we go. All right, so here are the stairs, and of course we can't wear shoes in the house because we have such a small space that uh, makes everything a mess. So it's easier to just take your shoes off at the front door. So we're going to come on out here, put on our shoes, and uh, take a quick tour. There's a Harley heading in from God only knows where. Hey, Loki. What you doing, buddy? Enjoying the sun? Yeah? All right, so when you come out our front door, you see our lovely car. And uh, take a quick tour over here. The back end, my tree, <laughs> very sparse looking tree at this time of year, but we wrap our lights around it. It's got some uh, cedars. Oh, I left a skeleton in there from Halloween. So just some tchotchkes in the tree. Um, I built this for this coming, uh, season for growing. I'm going to turn that into a planter bed. We get amazing sunlight here in the uh, daytime during the summer, so that will get ample amount of light for fruits and vegetables. I'm not sure what I'll put in there this year. Maybe some herbs and some easy vegetables like tomatoes, cucumbers, maybe some peppers. Who knows what we can fit in there. It's about the size of a full-size bed. Initially, we were going to build a bed instead of using the futon, but I decided to make a planter bed instead. This is going to be great. I'm going to put bra uh, beams going this way, kind of make it into uh, just kind of like a checkerboard, if you will, so I can lay soil on top where it won't go all the way through. There'll be some um, weed barrier netting to keep everything from falling to the ground, but that's going to stay there. And then you have our picnic table. I do a lot of arts and crafts. We do a lot of eating out here. Just a uh, simple picnic table. Some bins for storage has some Halloween decorations in it that need to get switched out for Christmas. Tools, things of that nature. We keep our shoes outside. We keep our shop vac re readily available. And the front door, my lantern. I don't know if it even works anymore, it's solar powered. But anyway, my lantern. And then you have the cave. keep the sheets on it and stuff and the tapestries so it keeps the sun out which makes it nice in the summertime. They're just plain white pieces of material and a hand dyed tapestry I made. Got a nice canvas on top to make sure nothing goes through and this is where all his play toys are. We got his jumper, we got the Batmobile, sensory chair, and then we have our little entertaining table. We have no space for extra, you know, root cellar type vegetables in the house, so we keep them in a basket out here. Just a nice place to have drinks and food and stuff for when guests come over. Uh, we have parking for the stroller. It's the stroller's garage. And then you got Kiwian. Kiwian having lunch. And Papa Bear, say hi. hi. Dining al fresco, right? Isn't that what that's called? Dining al fresco? Something like that. And we just, you know, table chairs. We spend a lot of time out here. Another table. Sometimes we put wood on there. Sometimes we do projects over there. Extra chairs. This is Loki's seat. The work cart. Or the fire pit we use in the wintertime. We finally got this set up out here to where we can come out here at night and actually enjoy it. Last night was the first night that we got to do it with Killian. We decided to have dinner outside last night. And since it's getting really dark really early, got to have a fire to do something. So that's there. Just a nice little overview of our outside space. And then again, we have the work cart, my Volkswagen. That needs to get uncovered, cleaned, and taken for a spin. That might happen here soon, and then I'll let you guys see the Volkswagen. And here's our backyard, if you will. Normally this is covered with tents, 
Usually these spots are filled with RVs along with the other two lots that we have. That's the uh, county agricultural building. And here are my tent cabins. I take care of these four cabins and the vacation rental on the grounds. Some beautiful, beautiful nature out here. It's quite quiet. And here's a little bit of the grounds. Loki gets to roam, the kitties get to roam. And that's the other side of Fillmore. This is the tree. I love this tree. I beg my boss consistently to not trim it all the way back because the amount of shade that we get and the girls like to sleep up in this tree. And when I mean the girls, I mean my cats. That's their tree. And I have my feeder out. I don't think they like the feeding, the feed that I put out, but hey, it is what it is. So, yeah. That's where all the business end, that's the business end of Fillmore. If you guys have any questions about, you know, any of the running works of an RV, how we manage to, you know, keep things insulated during the winter, if you can call it insulated. Aww, dear Roo Roo. What you doing, puppy? What you doing, my sweet puppy? Loving the grass, man. You know, we might live in a real small space, but this is the first time in my animals' lives where they were able to go outside and just enjoy and live their best life. This one actually got skunked about a week and a half ago. Thank goodness for Google and hydrogen peroxide and baking soda because that boy would have had to spend his first night outside in the doghouse for sure if we weren't getting him clean because... H-E double hockey sticks, no, are we going to have a stinky dog in the house. Dirty dogs get a bath. Right, Loki? Right. Dirty dogs get a bath. You going to say hi? Yeah, buddy. Hi there. Hi there, sweet pea. Oh, you can kind of see the Volkswagen. It's way dusty, way dirty. We're going to have to clean that. So, let's come on around here again. Just... Have another look, see what's going on. And there's Fillmore's front end. He actually got cleaned yesterday. Gotta had there were so many spiders, man. You know, I'm a city girl, come from I come from Brooklyn, New York. Can't really tell what the way I am, but I am and there's just way too much nature happening out here sometimes for me. So <sighs> Hello my love. With the film in your mouth, not eating your tasties. You showing everybody how you can drink with your sippy cup? Your big boy cup with your handles? Yeah, I'm showing everybody where your toys are. The jumpy jumpies, the sensory chair. That sensory chair has been a lifesaver, wouldn't you say, Scotty? Yep. Yeah, he loves that thing. He's starting to really dig the, the jumper. Only for so long, though. Anyway, so there's that. Get this posted up for you guys. I know how they, uh, all the YouTubers like to say, please comment, like, and subscribe. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're going to come with another video next week. We're going to do some RV cooking. I've been getting some ideas on what we're going to do for uh, Thanksgiving. So uh, let me turn around here and say goodbye the right way. Hello. So yes, we're going to do some RV cooking. Maybe do, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a pot pie of some sort next Sunday for you guys. So you can see how I really get down in the kitchen. Maybe do a little cleaning. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So for now, you're welcome to uh, leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.